Hey everybody. Have a look at this desktop here. Say it's Windows 7. And we just got logged into it. Um, you may notice something funny here. This is probably the first time you've ever seen a video on Q Computer Channel of a screen recording. You know, I swore up and down I would never do one, but um, I decided to make a change. Just, you know, I do make exceptions for some things. Um, well, you, here's the thing. You're looking at Windows 7 in a virtual machine. This is um, in VMware Player. I've officially switched over to VMware from our virtual machines. Um, let's go and discuss what I'm going to be doing here soon. You see, this is this is a clean install of Windows 7. Um, I think it's Windows 7 Home Premium. You know, this is a basic install. I switched to VMware. Um, as it runs, you know, the graphics are a lot better with Windows 7. Error works and everything like that. Um, basically, you may have heard of these um, these Windows tech support scammers out there. They call this random people, you know, the, here's a few ways that they they uh, latch on to you. In some instances, they just call numbers at random, you know, phone numbers at random, um, anticipating the um, unsuspecting user will have a Windows computer there with them. Um, another way that they will try to get you is um, with certain web pages. They will fake an error message, sometimes the blue screen, sometimes they will literally mock off an error of a legitimate program saying hey your computer is severely infected please call this number now so we can look into the issue and you know people just dial the the toll-free numbers and what happens is they get connected with um, these um, scammers in India that try to basically make themselves look or sound like they're legitimate um, you know Microsoft tech support people Saying that that they that your computer was connected to their servers and they um, they in, in, they were notified that your computer had viruses and things like that. Um, basically, the reason why I'm doing this later on is to raise awareness. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube who are actually um, doing this, um, but it'd be the first for Q Computer Channel because I want you guys to see. Um, because basically, I'm going to act like. You know, just a random average Joe who knows, you know, jack squat about computers um, until the end. And, you know, and basically um, give them the news. The reason why I do this is to raise awareness of what these the scams, you know, what they try to do. This is because some of my clients have been telling me, hey, I got a call from this person saying my computer was infected. And, you know, I tell them it's, it's fake, just disregard it, you know, your computer's fine. So, you know, I'm doing this in a virtual machine for a reason. So, because sometimes they have the tendency to want to screw up your computer if you don't pay. Basically, um, you know, if they screw things up, which, you know, in any case, I can just simply revert the machine back to a previous state um, with a snapshot. But basically, we have this Windows 7 desktop, you know, with, when, you know, with some basic programs installed. Um, it's AVG Free Antivirus, um, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome. And while I'm at it, I can just, you know, what I can do is just paste some shortcuts to, like, documents, pictures, you know, things like that. Just to make it look like, you know, this is someone's computer. This way is not obviously a, um, a clean install of Windows, per se, you know. But, you know, I figured maybe in this video I'll go and go over a few things that these people like to do. You know, they like to, um, you know, once you get on the phone with them, the first thing they like to do is generally this. Um, they want you to locate the Windows key on your keyboard, press and hold it, and press the R key. And that brings up the run prompt. And sometimes they'll ask you to go to a website or, um, you know, whatnot. You know, just, just, just random things. A lot of times they'll go into command prompt, and what they like to do is <laughs> they they have different they have different ways of trying to make you think your computer is infected. Um, basically, let's just do this. They go to the root directory of Windows. 
type in tree and what happens is command prompt shows you a tree directory you know, of, of your files which you know in the Windows directory there's a crap load of them and while the tree is doing its command you can type in information and it will um, show up on the next command line so watch this they basically like to do this you can hear me typing you see it's just, it's just running through all this stuff now let's say these are viruses that are being they like to say this is a virus scan and these are all the infections that it found on your computer and watch what happens when this ends you heard me typing See it? yep it says your PC is infected yep another thing that they like to do is they like to open up task manager and you know this is task manager. This is how it should look on an idle computer. You know, you have some memory uses because there are, there are programs open in the background, but your computer is basically idle at this point. They like to they like to reverse this around as saying that your CPU usage, say um, your your computer is not performing very well because there's not much usage of your CPU here. They like to say because your computer is infected, um, your your um, your processor usage is low, so your computer is performing very badly. This ain't good. Another thing that they like to do is this. You know. Up an event, event viewer. And let me show let me show you this as an, as an example. Um, a machine that has more you know, that has more programs than has been, you know, a Windows install that's been around for a longer amount of time is going to have longer amounts of things in its log. So let's look up system, and you're, and you're going to find errors, um, you know, warnings, errors, maybe criticals. Let's max this out. Now, of course, this machine does not have much at all. Let's see if it can even find any. As I mentioned, this is a clean install. Relatively clean install, and it, it appears. Let's scroll up, all the way to the top. You know, we have some warnings and we have some errors. They like to say, "Oh, this is very bad. These are viruses. Your computer is heavily infected. You're being hacked, and all this kind of stuff." These scare tactics. You know, to try to say, you know, you, we, that your computer is infected. We need to go go ahead and fix it. Um, you know, that kind of stuff you know scare tactics and the next thing they like to do is um, they like to direct you to go into a browser like for example let's go into Chrome and they will um, ask you to go to a site you know such as like let's say TeamViewer TeamViewer.com this is the this is the remote the remote access um, software I personally use as well. You now have you join a remote control session, and it downloads a little file, and once it pops up, it'll ask you to give the person, you know the, the basically the, you know the user and password that's um, shown with the um, application. And this didn't actually run for some reason. Kind of interesting. Oh, there it is. So I went and closed it out, but basically it'll show um, your ID and password information for you to give to the other person over the phone. And they will connect into your computer and start remote access, you know, begin a remote access session. Another site that's commonly used, support.me, this is log me in rescue. Log me in rescue, they'll give you a six digit code to put in, you'll start to download, and um, once it's downloaded, they, you know, you run the program, they will then remote into your computer that way, and the, the log me in rescue is a very commonly used one. 
And that's because um, it has built-in chat. Now, what's interesting is some of these, some of these um, knockoff tech support people, um, they're using a trial version of the program. And as a matter of fact, once you enter in the six-digit code and log me and see that are using the trial, it will actually warn you, saying, "Hey, um, be careful. You know, you know, only only accept invitations from people who you trust. This user is using a." Um, you know, the, you know, this user is using a um, trial version of Log Me and Rescue. So yeah, they they log they they remote into your computer and they start um, playing around with things like I showed you earlier. They open up Event Viewer, run tree in the um, command prompt. Um, they like to also, you know, say that this right here is horrible. This is bad. You know, your your computer's performance sucks dearly. You know that that kind of stuff. You know, another thing that I like to do is <laughs> go into MS Config, and they look at services and say all these services that are not running, they stop. This is bad. This 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 you know your your computer's infected. These viruses are causing these services not to run. Truth is, um, a lot of these services are not set to start automatically. Um, some of them are set to manual. Some are disabled. This is perfectly normal. Nothing wrong here. So, this is just a brief overview of what's to come. Or at least what's planned to come anyway. Because, um, again, I want to raise awareness of you know these kinds of things. And turn the tables on some of these scammers. Waste their time a little bit. So, anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned. Hope you're looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.